With the girls' basketball regular season now over, not only are we awarding this girl the MVP for last week, she's also our GiveMeTheVin.com Girls Player of the Year. Deja Kelly of Duncanville had a ridiculous week last week. After taking a few games off, she got back on the court in a big way. Against Lake Highlands, she scored 45 points and then turned around on Friday and scored 27 against Pierce. Not only that, she surpassed 3,000 career points as well. Deja is averaging over 23 points on the year. It is one of the main reasons the Pantherettes are ranked number one in the state. Because of her sensational season, Deja Kelly is our GiveMeTheVin.com Girls Player of the Year. We are just sitting here admiring the highlights, and Deja joins us now with her coach, Legina Howard. All right, Deja, here's the bobble. Hey, what do you think? Our Thank player you. of it's, the year. <laughs> it's so cute. It looks awesome. just like me now. Thank you so much. Well-deserved. Absolutely <laughs> a great season, an incredible year. You capped it off with the McDonald's All-American team this week what has this season been like for you and your teammates how would you describe what this year has been like for you it's been amazing we've been working really hard um, just now getting ready for playoffs this next week uh, we're just yeah, we've just been working really hard it's been we brought us a lot closer um, I'm excited. Yeah, it's probably been a lot of fun, too, for you, Coach, to work. I, I just want to know a really basic question. What makes Deja so good? We know what it's like watching her. What's it like coaching her? Um, I've been blessed to have the opportunity to coach a kid with a mamba mentality, mm. and Deja Kelly definitely has that. Yeah, and she shows it every single week, I feel like, and that's why she's headed to North Carolina next year. Deja, why was UNC the best fit for you, and why are you playing college hoops there? I'm big on life after basketball, so I feel like North Carolina would set me up really well there. I want to major in broadcast journalism, so they have one of the best broadcasting um, programs in the nation, so that'll really help me. And then basketball-wise, Coach Banghart is amazing, and I'm really excited to play under her. And if you ever need to get some tips and come on back and see me, you're always <laughs> welcome here at Broadcast Journalism, right? Yeah. Coach, uh, the playoffs begin this week. What, what's it been like coaching this team this year, and, and how far can this team go? What are the expectations? Um, this team is just growing more and more each and every day, and I'm excited to see the, the growth that they're going to bring into the playoff mentality. Um, these girls have been working very hard, and just watching them hungry, hungry to play. Um, we're, we're ready for Monday. Yeah, Deja, I, I can't imagine for you, your senior year, what's that like now, getting gearing up for the, uh, for the playoffs as we get ready to get going? Oh, man, I got to leave with the state championship. That's the goal. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and it's not going to be surprising if it happens. The Duncanville team, awesome as always. It's so fun watching you play. Thank you Congratulations so much. on a great season. Good luck Thank you. in the playoffs to both of you.